Well, from celebration to sadness and anger, there's no end to the amount of emotions experienced as this trial unfolded, culminating in that guilty verdict today. But many locals say this is not where the conversation stops. Our Colette Bordel on live for us at City Hall, where she covered several George Floyd protests in the wake of his death last year. And Colette, you went back and talked to some of those protesters again today to get their reaction to this decision. Yeah, I know, Rob, you'll remember these steps here at City Hall just packed with people and signs chanting many times George Floyd's name. Now, for one of those people who was here on several of the days, he summed up today as bittersweet. The end of a historic trial. Yes, a win and a call to action. Some say is the start of so much more. When it comes to issues like these, um, black people have not had many victories. Protests pushing for justice swept the nation and Southern Colorado was no exception. Is it that the George Floyd case was just so high profile because the entire world protested? Derek Matthews, one world. of the people who marched through downtown Colorado Springs. To really say justice was served, it'd be him still be alive right now. He watched as the verdict was read with his young daughter. That could have been me up on there as well because being a black man in America, but also at the same time, the bitterness of it was how low hanging fruit it was. While others on our recently formed police oversight commission believe justice was We're served. Here. I'm elated. I shudder to think that if the verdict had gone the other way, what would be happening in our country? She says George Floyd played a critical role in the formation of the commission, making their work even more essential. It's going to happen again. Even during the trial, it happened 10 miles from where the trial was taking place. And still, as they breathe a sigh of relief, others are drawing a line between justice and accountability. Beyond accountability, there's much work to get us to the place of justice. And taking a step back, it's been extremely traumatizing, which is why for myself, I could not watch the entire trial. Watching his death over and over again. We have become desensitized and we normalize the death of black bodies on the screen. So psychologically and mentally, it is so damaging. Calling racism a complex trauma that affects all parts of a person. Now, Ashley Cornelius, that therapist you just heard from, described trying out therapy like trying on a pair of shoes. You don't stop trying until you find the therapist that's the best fit. If you are mentally exhausted or drained right now, setting personal boundaries or limiting the amount of information you're consuming can all help, as well as finding a community that supports you. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Club Portal on News 5.